course, stay the course on taxes. We'll continue to work to honor the commitment we made to capital tax increases at no more than 2.5% for the remainder of the year. But we will do so while preserving and protecting the important public services that our residents deserve and expect. I'm proud to say that we will continue the spirit of listening and collaboration that marked the first 14 months of our mandate. I'd like to thank each member of council for your strong commitment to listening to one another, to working together as a team, and making progress on the issues that matter most to the people of Ottawa. Because at the end of the day, that is what matters most. I want to conclude by introducing you to some special guests who are with us in the front row of the gallery. Each and every day, like you, I have the incredible opportunity to meet some remarkable people who help make our city the special place it is. Through their everyday gestures and generosity, they contribute to making our city truly exceptional. They do so without expectation of a reward, without grand fanfare, and outside the glare of the media. Let me introduce you to some of those residents who I had the opportunity to come across in the last 12 months. I'd ask you to hold your applause until the end. Let me start with Raphael Ferlon, a young woman who I met last November who shared her story with me about living without a home from the ages of 15 to 18. Eventually, Raphael found support in the Youth Services Bureau, first by dropping in and then attending counseling sessions. Raphael found a home and in 2008 enrolled in a social work program at La Cité Collégiale, graduating second in her class. Today, Raphael is 22 years old and in her second year of civil law at the University of Ottawa, where she is also president of the University of Ottawa chapter of Lawyers Without Borders. Facing adversity, homelessness, and numerous challenges, she found support from the community, and now following her tremendous perseverance, she is giving back to her community. Thank you very much, Raphael. student at South Carlton High School. Last year he sustained a spinal cord injury which left him paralyzed from the waist down. The rehabilitation was a long process, but Tyrone describes experience as, quote, having been given a new life. He has set goals for himself and through courage and hard work is attaining them one by one. Last year, using his hand cycle, Tyrone participated in the Army Marathon and the Nine Run Run Marathon, inspiring crowds along the way. In November, he was invited to join the Rick Hansen 25th Year Anniversary Relay, carrying the medal as an endurance team member from Windsor to Thunder Bay. His father wrote us a note that day, it was filled with such excitement and pride. Great news came in last week, and Tyrone will once again join the Rick Hansen Relay this coming March. Tyrone, you have chosen to use your life and resources to inspire and help others overcome similar challenges, and Ottawa is a stronger city because of you. Thank you. J'aimerais maintenant vous parler d'un bénévole exceptionnel qui s'appelle Janine Legault. On la voit tout simplement partout. Depuis plus de 60 ans, Janine s'implique de façon fervente des diverses organisations dont les guides franco-ontariennes, la Caisse Populaire Vision, l'ACFO et la Fédération des femmes canadiennes françaises de la paroisse Notre-Dame et saint gervais Janine Legault has been a volunteer in our city's francophone community for over 60 years. For context, Janine started volunteering when Louis Saint Laurent was Prime Minister of Canada. L'an dernier, elle a reçu le prix Grand Maître et on l'a reconnu pour son engagement exceptionnel. Janine nous montre que c'est avec le travail et la persévérance que la communauté d'Ottawa s'appuie et grandit. Merci beaucoup, Janine Lagos. Tobias Lutke and Harley Finkelstein, and Harley is not able to be with us, are the young founders of Shopify, Ottawa's fastest growing private company for the past two years. This startup specializes in e-commerce and has mastered the art of creating and powering online stores. 
Last year, users of Shopify technology sold more than $250 million in merchandise online. Only in their sixth year, Shopify helps more than 16,000 retailers from over 80 countries worldwide. They expect to add six to 8,000 more stores this year alone. In 2010, Shopify was able to secure $7 million in venture capital funding, which was followed 10 months later by a $15 million Series B round funding. This is excellent. Uh, the worldwide online community, community is keeping a close eye on Shopify's headquarters, located in the Byward Market, <laughs> which employs, I initially had 80 employees, and I'm told it's now up to 100 just in the last week. Several of them are recent grads from the Ottawa universities and colleges. Tobias and Harley are also engaging the startup community of Ottawa by hosting an event called Fresh Founders. It takes place at their Ottawa, at their Ottawa office and invites the top 100 Ottawa-based entrepreneurs to network and to share stories. Tobias, Harley, and the Shopify team are the exceptional entrepreneurs who demonstrate to the world that Canada's capital is a place of innovation and ingenuity, a place of perseverance, place where economic success can be realized. Ils sont des entrepreneurs exceptionnels qui font le truc aux yeux du monde que la capitale d'Ottawa est un milieu d'innovation, est un milieu de persévérance, est un milieu où le succès économique est possible. Thank you very much for the jobs you're creating and the mentoring you are doing to young, uh, young companies and young individuals in our community. Story. I was told that um, Sam and Simon couldn't make it today because they're expecting a beer order at the tavern. So I know the list of priorities, beer is ahead of Jim Watson. So I take that. But Billy is here with us. They're great community builders. And each year the brothers gather volunteers, food, and musicians as they host one of Ottawa's greatest Christmas dinners, providing local residents with a warm place to share a meal and feel at home. They're joined by members of the Hindenburg Economic Development Committee, and Cheryl Parrott is here. And for the last 10 years, this event keeps getting bigger and better. The last Christmas Day dinner at the Tavern served or delivered over 800 meals. That's over 30 turkeys, 6 hams, 60 meat pies, and an endless supply of coffee and refreshments. Volunteers show up in full force to be part of what is now become a wonderful, warm community tradition. I've had several opportunities of attending this event. I was there this past December, and each year turns out to be an incredible feast and celebration filled with music, crafts, love, gifts for the children, and some Christmas carols. By treating their, fa their fellow residents as part of their extended family, they make Ottawa an exceptional place to live. Thank you very, very much to the Safely Brothers for your generosity and for caring so much about those in our community. Thank you. I've chosen to highlight these contributions of these exceptional Ottawans to remind us as a council and to remind the residents of Ottawa that our sole purpose here is to improve the quality of life in our community for the people of Ottawa over the long term. J'ai choisi de souligner l'apport de citoyennes et citoyens exceptionnels pour nous rappeler qu'en tant que conseil municipal, pour rappeler aux résidents et résidents de cette ville de notre unique raison d'être et d'améliorer à long terme la qualité de vie dans ce milieu pour l'ensemble de la population d'Ottawa. It's an inspiring reminder that community is about much more than places, budgets and infrastructure. It's first and foremost about people. And I know that each member of council will come across similar wonderful stories in their own boards, and it's one of the reasons why we started the City Builder Award, to share the kind of uh, individuals that really make this city a special place. I'm deeply convinced that each member of council has worked hard in the last year to make Ottawa a better place for all its residents. I encourage you to leave no stone unturned to spare no effort to make Ottawa an even greater city in the course of the coming year. Thank you all very much. Merci beaucoup.